So, okay, just to show you one more time that how we do that, um, to run the cross-tabulation for premarital sex and post-life on divorce is by going to analyze and then go to the descriptive statistics and goes to cross-tabulation and then you select the variables to the right so you go you select the premarital sex and the post life on the dependent variable of divorce so since uh, the independent variable is on the row so you want to make sure that the percentage also generate based on the row based on the independent variable and then you click on continue you click OK, then you will show the output table. So we can uh, we can abbreviate previous uh, outcome so it will not confuse you. And this is the new table. So to calculate the epsilon for premarital sex, we use uh, 32.7, which is the highest value, minus the lowest value is 18.8. And then the answer is 13.9. Uh, For post-life, the same thing. Post-life, since it only have two categories, yes, no, yes, no. So who believe there is a post-life, yes, or not believe their divorce percentage is very minimum, very small. So the epsilon will be using 26.8 minus 26 percent so that's 0 0.8 percent for post life so compare the two we know that based on the epsilon that premarital sex have a higher value so we know that premarital sex actually have a more have a stronger effect on divorce mm -hmm.